Hey everyone, welcome back to another brand new tutorial video. I know it's been a week since I uploaded a video of any tutorial. Well, never mind, I'm back with another cool motion graphic animation, which I recently created in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's roll back to our intro. So yeah, we are back in After Effects, and let's see our animation first. Though, doesn't it look interesting? So yeah, so I'm going to show you how I created this animation in this easy breakdown video. So let's get started, and the project assets link is in the description below. So when you will open your project file, you will see the main composition over here. Double click to open the pre-comp, and you will see all the layers I have created in this composition. So one by one, we will get to understand each layer, how I created this animation. So firstly, let's turn off all the layers. Now we have this black background over here. Let's turn on the first layer, which is a background layer. And on this background layer, I have applied two effects. So at first I have the black solid layer. And on this, I have applied a four color gradient effect. And in this gradient, I have applied the two colors, which is a little pinkish and of a bluish tone. And rest of the two colors are black. Yeah, and the another effect which looks cool, obviously a posterize effect, which gives a cool banding effect. And it's awesome, so the banding or posterize value is around 50. So yeah, that's it. Now let's take a step to second layer. Let's turn on the second layer. And on this second layer, I have the base shape with slightly round corners, with the rectangle tool, and with the fill on, and the stroke turned off. And on this, I applied some effects. Firstly, the four color gradient effect, which is applied to this grayish rectangle. And I applied the two colors, which are the pink, which is matching to this, and the dark blue color, which is like this. And the two of the rest color are black. Now the second effect which I've applied is the deep glow effect. You can apply the organic glow effect too, which is also looks pretty cool. So the radius of the deep glow is as desired my settings, 276, with the radius and exposure value is 0.32 and the blend mode set to screen, and the gamma correction set to check and auto detect gamma is unchecked. Scroll down a little bit. The chromatic aberration is enabled with the channels red and blue, and the amount set to 0.30%. And then I have applied a tint, which is enabled, and the color I have chosen with the color picker tool, and I have chosen this color to give it a glowing feel and the blend mode set to multiply, and the down samples value all set to 100%. Yeah, that's it. Now the third effect on this base layer is the noise effect. The noise type, which is the color noise, is unchecked, and the clipping is also unchecked, and the amount of noise is around 2.5%. The next effect on this base is the CC light sweep effect. I have animated the light from the right to the left corner. Like, let's see. Yeah, so we have this light sweep effect on this base, with the settings width to 43%, the sweep intensity set to 18, edge intensity around 430, and the thickness to 0, and the color to white, and the direction to 30 degrees. So, yeah. So we have these effects for the base. Now let's step forward to the third layer, which is our stroke layer. Let's turn on this layer first. So I have applied a stroke. Basically, I have duplicated this base layer once and turned off the fill for this layer, and turned on the stroke with the white color, and the four pixels of stroke width. Yeah, this is it. And next we have the text layer, which is obviously the inside text, which shows the money value, like dollar sign, and the million, M for million sign. And let's expand the text properties. And I have applied a bevel and emboss property for this text. The bevel and emboss properties, I have set the bevel style to inner bevel, and the depth to around 64%. The direction is set to up, and the size is to 5. The soften value is set to 5.8, and you can adjust the setting according to your like. Yeah. And on this text, let's set open the source text. And on this text, I have applied firstly a slider control effect, and I have linked the source text with the slider control effect. And on this source text, I have applied an expression which is attached in the link given in the description. 
And so I have this expression. So basically, you can enter your million subscriber value over here. Like I have set to nine, like nine million. You can set to 10, 12, 13, whichever you like. You can set the duration. You can set the starting interval. Then I have animated it with the two properties. One is the position property where it comes from the down to up and the opacity property with zero to 100. So yeah, it comes like this. And then the numbering comes. And here it gets to 9 million. And then it goes back to normal. Yeah. Then we'll step to the next layer, our upper text layer. And on this layer, I have usually added a phrase in alphabets, like $9 million. And for this, I have applied some effects. Like firstly, the glow effect, with the value of threshold to 20%. The glow radius to 150, the glow intensity to 50, and so on. And for this text animation, you can see like this effect. I have applied a decoder fade in preset. High are you to see the keyframes. Here it comes with the $9 million text. And then it goes back to where it came. So basically, I have copy and paste the keyframe like before. So yeah, now let's add cherry on the top. Let's turn on the adjustment layer for this. And on this adjustment layer, I have applied a CC vignette effect, which gives a rounded black corners little bit, and it gives a depth to our composition. So yeah, again, hit U to hide all the keyframes. And one last thing I missed, I have applied a drop shadow effect with a 13% around value and the softness to around three on this inside money text layer. So yeah, that's it for this animation. It looks super cool. You can use it in your projects. So let's see our final animation once more. It looks dope. So yeah, that's it guys for this breakdown video.